Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about how to deal with the super annoying thing of refunds. So unfortunately, it's a part of every e-commerce business. You're always gonna have uh, you know, people asking for refunds or exchanges or their money back or all these kind of different things. And it's just something that you have to expect. But there are certain things that we can do to sort of eliminate the amount of refunds or at least like cover ourselves when people actually ask for them so you don't have to give out as many as people ask for. So before we jump in, three quick things. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe. We're just, you know, dropping free value for you guys every single day. I'm genuinely, genuinely trying to help you guys out and it's free. So why the heck would you not want to subscribe? And while you're at it, just like go ahead and hit that notification bell as well because, um, you know, then you'll be notified exactly when when I actually drop the content, which is every single day, like I said, because we're trying to get everybody on this channel to at least $100 a day, everybody that subscribes to the channel to at least $100 a day, which is totally doable. Lastly, if you like it, go ahead and give me a like. It helps me rank the video and helps me uh, you know, help out more people as well. So how do you deal with refunds? Well, the number one thing that you gotta do is uh, set up a, a terms of refund, okay? And what is this? Basically, it's like a page where on your website where you explicitly lay out your refund policy. And I know a lot of people don't talk about this, but it's it's important to have. And you know, any legitimate business that you see um, is gonna have some sort of like refund policy, in terms of service, privacy policy, all this kind of stuff. So how do you actually go ahead and set that up? Well, I have pulled up a test so uh, test site so we can check it out. But essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the settings, um, which is right down here, and you're gonna go to checkout, so your store's checkout. And you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom here. <clears throat> and you probably won't have these letters, uh, but what you can do is just go to generate sample refund privacy policy in terms of service. And what that's gonna do is just give you like a, um, you know, a general, uh, you know, refund policy and all this kind of stuff that you can edit if, if you want to. But with this information, you can actually go ahead and make pages on your website that have to do with it. So, uh, you know, we'll just copy and paste this and we'll go over to online store, pages, and uh, as you can see, I've already made them for this, but essentially you're just gonna go add a page and you're gonna copy and paste that information from those text boxes in to make a privacy policy, refund policy, and terms of service. Now, in your refund policy, you can structure it a couple different ways, but what I recommend doing um, is only doing refunds if the product is unopened and if the product is, um, and if they send it back to myself, not to the manufacturer, but to my, my personal address. So once I actually receive the product, realize that it's uh, you know, unopened and uh, you know, something's wrong with it or whatever, then that's when I'll actually go ahead and do the refund. If, for, you know, if they refuse to do that or if they've already opened it, then you know, sorry, it's in our terms, we can't do a refund. Um, unfortunately, and you know, be super polite about it, but just tell them that you can't do a refund and refer them back to the refund pages so that they can actually realize that, uh, you know, that is in the terms and that they should have read that. Okay, so um, that's that's sort of how, how it works there. Now, when you actually want to do a refund, essentially what you're going to do is, uh, you know, whoever the order is, you're going to go to the orders page and uh, let's just say, for example, it's like, uh, I don't know, like this order here, 1037. What we can do is just click on the, the order and scroll down and you can see like 1499. Um, and we're just gonna hit the refund button. I'm not gonna do it because uh, I don't wanna refund them, but uh, just hit the refund button and that'll send a refund to the customer. Just let them know that you refunded them. And uh, yeah, so that's essentially it. Um, so. Hopefully these tips were helpful for you guys. I know this video was short, but it doesn't really need to be too long because it's, you know, it's pretty easy. So hopefully they were helpful for you guys. If they were, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell and the like button if you like the content and want to be notified as soon as I drop the, the, you know, the latest video. Go ahead and do that. Lastly, I'm trying to get everybody on this channel to at least $100 a day. So if you have any questions, any roadblocks, anything that's uh, you know prohibiting you from getting to that $100 a day mark, then go ahead and leave me a comment in the uh, you know in the comments below and let me know what you're struggling with so I can make a video about it. Also, um, if you haven't already checked it out, I mean, I'll link it. Um, I don't know, like here. But um, I made a video recently about how I took a store from you know zero to hundred dollars in less than forty-eight hours. 
um, and I kind of detail how I was able to do that. So if you're interested in watching that video, you can check it out here. You know, it's free, it's on YouTube. So uh, yeah, go ahead and check that out. So again, hopefully this is helpful for you guys and I will see you all tomorrow. I need you in the morning. Oh, oh.